All right, people, it's late September. The title of this video is How to Catch Catfish. First thing you do, you find water. I got that. I like using cut bait because I like the bigger catfish. I got that. You put that on a hook, preferably on a heavier leader because the catfish has got an abrasive mouth. Run that to a swivel because when they twist and turn, that can uh, weaken your knot, weaken your line. Then you need a sinker. And uh, to keep the sinker from beating my knot to death, I've got this little plastic bead. This one's actually rubber, it's a little softer than a plastic. Plastic beads tend to break on me. And you get a big fishing pole and I've got that. This one will cast a mile, maybe more. When we start getting into earlier fall, I like to use bigger baits. This is a bloody piece of fresh skipjack. That sound you just heard is called the bait clicker. I like that sound. All we gotta do now is sit and wait. You trying to get a motor full of braided line? You trying to get a motor full of braided line? What? Are you trying to get a motor full of braided line? No. Will be a motor full of braided line? I'm fishing right here, bud. Oh, well, I didn't know that. Sorry. They get stupider every day out there. Part of this catching catfish is having to deal with the dumb boaters. Now they fish too. Now he's out there throwing these bass lures. Now he ought to have enough sense to know with this big bright light, them big rods with uh, glow tape on them, that I'm casted out that way and not that way. But they ain't smart enough to know that. said he didn't know I was fishing here. Well, how come I'm smart enough to know he's fishing, but he's not smart enough to look at this big bright light and these poles in the water right on the bank out here at 10 o'clock at night and not know that I'm fishing. False alarm. Another false alarm. Fish on.
There it is, people. There's how to catch catfish. That's a big fish too. This braided line makes me nervous because uh, there's a lot of rock ledge out there. Normally I use mono on this rock ledge, but I ordered some fresh and it ain't come in yet. That's the wrong kind of fish right there. That's one of them dag blasted fish with the stripes on it. He's not even picture worthy. Wrong fish, people. There he goes. He'll find his way out of there. Well, there went a perfectly good skipjack head. The hooks I'm using tonight are Mustad Ultra Point or Mustad Demon Fine Wire 10 aught. I like these hooks. I've been through a bunch of hooks. These to me have done me well. Big blues, flat heads. And even them.
and even them dag blasted fish with the stripes on them. That's a good hook right there. Fresh skipjack tonight was provided by Melton Hill Bill, one of the longest running, most experienced guides in East Tennessee. His specialty is big stripers. He knows where to go any time of year to get on them. And if for some strange reason them fish with the stripes on them ain't biting, he can take you out and put you on some big cats like what I'm doing here. So anybody looking up a guide in East Tennessee, contact Melton Hill Bill. He's on Facebook, he's on YouTube, he's got a website. Google the name. Hope you all enjoyed this video. There was a fish in the video. That makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Dave with another one, signing out.